In this video, we'll be going over the recursive approach of word break. So given string s and a dictionary of strings, word dictionary, return true if s can be segmented into a space separated sequence of one or more dictionary words. Note that the same word in the dictionary may be reused multiple times in the segmentation. So in our first example, we're giving lead code and we're giving two words leads and code. It can be separated into the two words, so we return true. Let's go over the thought process. So let's break this question down. We will first need a quick way to determine if we have found a word inside the dictionary. Our initial thoughts can be creating a hash set to store each of the words. Then we can check if a word exists inside the set. But this approach is not efficient enough because we need to generate a substring to check in order to check inside the set. And generating a substring is not efficient. So a better approach is to use a try. This will allow us to check if a, if a word exists inside the dictionary without creating the substring. Now, we will also need for each of the starting index i, we will need to find a word from i to j, where j is greater than i that exists inside the dictionary. After we have found a word from i to j, we will want to check if we can break up the input break up the input word starting from index j plus one. Now let's go over the pseudocode. So we're gonna create a try. So uh, we're gonna create a custom class first, which is our try node which will represent the nodes inside a try. So there will be two fields. The first one is our children. It's a hash map to keep track of the character to also the node, the try node. Then our second field is, is, is word. It's a Boolean variable to determine if we have found a word. And this um, this word will be set to true on the last node of each word. Now we want to create our try. So we're going to call our roots. So we're going to iterate through the input array, uh, input array word dictionary, and denote it as word, or each of the words. Now we want to create a variable, node, and set it to roots. This will keep track of our current location inside the try. They're going to iterate through the characters or iterate through the indices of word, which would denote it as i. And then we're going to retrieve the current index, I mean the current character, c at index i inside word. Then we're going to put c and a new try node into node.children if it does not exist. Now we want to set node to node.children.getc. We are basically moving down the try node or the try. Now, after we iterate through all the characters, we're, at, we're currently at the last node, so we want to set the variable isWord to true. So we're going to set node.isWord to true. Now we are ready to implement our recurse approach to check if we can break up our the input string because we, we now have a way to quickly check if we have found a word or not. Now we're going to implement the recursive approach and then what parameters do we need? We we'll first need our i, our current starting index that we are checking from. And then we also have our s, the input string. And then we also have our word dictionary so it's the input dictionary, 
Oh no, we don't need a word dictionary. We need our roots. It's the roots of our try for a quick look of, of words. And I'm going to implement the, and then we're going to look for the base case first. So where's the base case? If I is out of bound, this means we have successfully broke up, broken up the word, so we can just return true. Then each of the recursive call, we're going to create a variable node to keep track of our current location inside our try. So it will be initially be equal to our root. We initially start from the roots, and then we're going to iterate through the indices from i to s dot like minus one, which is the last index of the input word, which we're going to denote it as j. Now we're going to retrieve the current character c at index j inside s. If c does not exist inside node.children, this means we have failed to find a word. We can, uh, uh, did, there's no more words left that will continue to match, so we can just break from the loop. Now we want to set node to node.children dot get c. We, move, we are moving down the try currently. And then if node is word is true, this means we have found a word. And um, if node the word is true, we want to recursively check if we can break the word down. Break the word starting from index j plus 1. So we want to move our starting index to j plus 1. Then if the recursive call is true, then we can just return true. This means we have successfully found the word from i to j, and then we can still break down the word starting from j plus 1. This means we can break down the word, so we can just return true. If we have failed to break down the word after iterating through the, all the indices, or if we break from the loop, this means we have failed to find a word that will allow us to break down the word from the starting index i, we can just return false. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. For the time complexity, we'll first need to create our try, so it's w times k, and then plus, and then our recursive calls. In our recursive calls, we iterate through up to n indices, and each index, we may perform a recursive call that also have a depth of n, so of all of n to the n. So we get, so where wk are the number of words and the average amount of characters inside each word. This is for the word dictionary. And then for o of n to the n is, is n is the length of the input string. And then this one is creating our try. And then this one is in each of the recursive call. We iterate through up to n indices. Each index may have a recursive call with a depth of n. Now let's go over the space complexity. For the space complexity, we need our try and also O of n, which is our recursive call stack memory. So we will first, this is our try that we created. And this one is our recursive call stack memory. Now let's go over the code. So we we'll first create our try node. There will be two fields. The first one is our children map, which is our character to its try node, is our children, and also a Boolean variable to determine if we have found a word or not. So it will be initially false. And then we're going to create a constructor to initialize the children map. Now we'll first create our try first. Roots is going to create try. We're going to create a method to help us create try, to create a try, pass in our word dictionary.
we're going to create our trinode roots. Then we're going to iterate through the words inside the word dictionary. We're going to create a trinode to keep track of our current location inside our tri, so initially at root. Then we're going to iterate through the indices of word. We're going to retrieve the current character at index i. We're going to, we're going to put, so note that children that put if absent. So we're going to put the current character and a new, new trinode into our current node if it does not exist. Then we want to move down the try, going down the try. So set node to node.children. C. Now after we iterate through all of the indices, we are currently at the last character or the node that is represent the last character. We want to set it to node that is word to true. Then we want to return our root. After we create our try, we, we have a way to quickly check if a word is inside the word dictionary. Now we can implement our recursive approach to determine if we can break up the words from each of the starting index, from each of the starting indices. Our starting index, our input word, and also our try. Now we first go over the base case. If i is out of bound, this means we have successfully broken up the word. We can just return true. Then we're going to create a try to keep track of our a try node to keep track of our current location inside the try. Then we're going to iterate through the indices from the current index, the current starting index, to the last index, denoted as j. Then we treat the current character from index j. If node.children does not contain C, this means we have failed to find a word. There are no more words that will continue to match, so we can just break from the loop. Then also, then we're going to move down the try. If it is contained inside our try, we're going to move down the try. Now, if the current node is a word, and we are able to break the word down starting from index j plus 1, this means we are able to break down the input word, so we can just return true. We can we can break down the words starting from index i, so we can just return true. If we have failed to break down the word, if we have iterated through all of the indices, or if we have failed to match a character, we can just return false. Okay, we're getting our TOE error. So let's write this down. So this approach is not efficient enough due to overlapping recursive calls. We can avoid overlapping recursive calls using memorization. In the next video, I'll be going over the memorization of approach of word break. Let me know if any questions in the comment section below.